New federal data analyzed by the I-Team shows big pharmaceutical companies paid Florida physicians more than $150 million last year to promote their products. I-Team investigator Kylie McGivern shows us how it's all perfectly legal but raises some real questions about who your doctor is working for. Yes, Wendy, we found opioid makers paying Tampa Bay area doctors at the same time locals caught in the opioid epidemic struggled with addiction. Caught in that epidemic. It, it got out of control very quickly. Recovering addict Steven Sundquist, the former high school baseball player, was first prescribed opioids back in 2006 as a teen following a Tommy John surgery. And I was never, you know, made aware of what these drugs were going to do to me, you know, the side effects, nothing like that. Sunquist also doesn't know whether any of his doctors ever received payments from drug makers. The I-Team found opioid makers pumping tens of thousands of dollars into the pockets of local doctors in just the last year for speaking fees, consulting work, and meals. Medical ethicist Art Kaplan says doctors shouldn't accept any money from pharmaceutical companies promoting their pain pills. When it's opioids, in the middle of an enormous epidemic that's killed tens and tens of thousands of Americans, they shouldn't be on the payroll of those companies at all. In a special full circle investigation tonight at 11, you'll hear from those defending the payments and calls for doctors to tell patients when they're on the payroll of Big Pharma. I'm my team investigator Kylie McGivern taking action for you. Kylie, looking forward to that one.